What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to draw a loose structure for silicon tetrafluoride. So silicon tetrafluoride, what we need to do, the first thing we need to identify the central atom. Central atom is the one that usually has the highest bonding capacity. So we have silicon like that and we have fluoride. Silicon A has four valence electrons and fluoride has fluorine has seven so the bonding capacity of silicon is four and the bonding capacity of fluorine is only one so silicon is the central atom and fluorine is the surrounding atom. So what we need to do, we need to write the symbol from the central atom and then arrange the symbols of the other atoms for the rest of it. So it's going to be S, I, F, F, F and F. Then what we need to do, we need to add up the number of valence electrons available in an atom of each of the elements. This number represents the total number of electrons or dots you will draw in your loose structure. So, total number of valence electrons is 4 plus 4 times 7. So it's going to be 28 plus 4 is going to be 32. Then what we need to do, we need to place one pair of electrons between each adjacent pair of atoms and every two of these dots represents a bonding electron pair that forms a single covalence bond. So we have S, I, F, 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 and F. Put 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And next step would be place pairs of the remaining valence electrons as lone pairs on the surrounding atoms means fluorine not a central atom just the surrounding atom and we need to follow the duet rule for hydrogen atoms and we need to follow octet rule for others so since we are dealing with fluorine we need to look for octet rule so one two three four five six 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 now what we need to do, we need to find out how many electrons are still available. How we do that? Subtracting the number of electrons you have used so far from the total number of valence electrons. So we originally had 32 minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 times 2, 32. 32 minus 32 is going to be 0. So we have no more available valence electrons. So now what we need to do, we need to check if we have octet. So we have octet for fluorine, 8, 8, 8, and 8. We are good. What about for silicon? 2, 4, 6, 8. So we are good. So that's complete. We just need to put dash instead of shared electrons. So silicon here, and we have dashes. Fluorine, 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 fluorine. And the lone pairs. So we have 3 times 3, 9 lone pairs. So that's going to be the loose structure of silicon tetrafluoride. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding chemistry, math, and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.